Hey guys, it's Dana with Fabulous Style and I have my unboxing of everything that I bought when I was thrifting in Arizona after Posh Fest. So, I have this big box here. I think it's too big to try and pick up. I don't know. It's 41 pounds of clothes and things. There's a suitcase in here too. Um, that I bought when I was thrifting, mostly in Sun City. My sister lives in Peoria. I did open one side of this box because I had to take something out of it immediately as soon as I got it home because um, my sister lives in Peoria and she went with me to Posh Fest, but she doesn't actually sell on Poshmark yet. So it got her all excited to sell on Poshmark and she wanted to try out going to the, they have a Goodwill clearance center, which is basically the Goodwill bins there in um, Phoenix. And we had to run to the post, the airport on Sunday morning. So after that, we went straight over to the bins. We were there for two hours she found she did find a bunch of like household things and stuff for her son she has a four-year-old but i not nothing to resell and i found just a few things at the bins that morning it was very crowded um of course it was a sunday and i figured there would be a lot of posh fest people there which i did see a few but most people i think that was just that's their normal sunday thing so anyway, the stuff that I found at the bins, I'll share. Uh, the first two things I'll pull out of the box are my own shoes. I wore these to Posh Fest. <laughs> so when I was packing this box, I put my shoes in there. But I did, after we went to the bins on Sunday, we went to the Goodwill that's nearest her house. And we took her son, because at the bins, he found a whole bunch of cell phones. He's obsessed with cell phones. He's four years old. So old cell phones that don't work anymore, he doesn't care. Although he likes for them to turn on. So anyway, we went to another Goodwill later in the day hoping to find a charger for one of the old cell phones that we found. Um, so at that Goodwill, I found a piece of Brighton luggage that's in here. And then I also found a really nice fossil um briefcase like a messenger bag style briefcase that was just in new condition um i i was trying to figure out how am i going to get all this stuff home so when i got home i listed that the briefcase or the crossbody um, messenger bag on poshmark hoping it would sell the next day because i left on my i left on tuesday so i had another full day monday there to go thrifting it didn't sell, so I ended up boxing everything up and mailing it to myself um, Monday night. And then on Tuesday, while I was traveling home, I got an offer <laughs> for that uh, messenger bag. So I, I let the girl know I, I didn't think I would have this box for a whole week, and she was perfectly fine with that. So I got to sell one of the items before I even got it back home. So I pulled that out as soon as the box came and sent it back, sent it to her. Anyway, I will start with the haul. This, oh, this I bought at the Goodwill um, in Peoria near her house. It is a current tag cabby dress. I forget the name of this dress, but I looked it up when we were there. It's a maxi, just like a stretch maxi dress. And it's a size small, but it sells, it resells for like 60, $60, I think. But if you, when you're shopping, if you don't know this already, cabby tags have the style number right there. Ooh, is that gonna focus? If I get out of the way, will it focus? Anyway, if you just put, type into eBay cabby and then the style number, You'll, it'll come up with um, soul. You can look up solds that way. So it's an easy way to figure out if you should buy a cab, something that's cabby. This was 
I think the Goodwill's there charged tax. I live in Oregon, so I'm not used to paying tax. Some of the other thrift stores I went to didn't charge tax, so I'm not exactly sure when they charge sales tax on used items. Um, so I bought that at that store. I bought this. This was in the costume section. First, I'll show you the tag, because I, I put it inside out for traveling. It's just like a vintage skirt leather renditions by sandy but i thought this was so cool and just too cool to pass up it's actually a leather it's in perfect condition a leather maxi skirt so really nice i don't know what size oh it's probably like a size six or an eight so that's not that's pretty good beautiful skirt so Got that the, on Sunday night. I also bought this that same on that same trip. I had never heard of this brand. This is, come on, come on. Sunday's the label. But it's just this beautiful bodycon um, dress. Kind of a midi length the dress have tinfoil behind me as a reflector. I talked about it in my Posh Vest video. Um, so yeah, I thought this was just beautiful. Nice dress there. And then what else? Okay, so I did find some other things at that store, but these are the things I found at the bins. So nothing really special, just some Ann Taylor um, shorts. That I picked up I bought a fossil keeper bag I it's not on my I put it on my Instagram um, but my daughter loves those crossbody bags so I already gave that to her but I found these suspenders I thought they were pretty cool navy blue with the stars on them and they had come from a Goodwill Trafalgar I don't know how you say that but I'm sure they won't sell for a lot. I just thought they were interesting. And the the like the button clasp areas are um, leather. Then, oh, I did find these. <laughs> I found some vintage gloves on this trip. I just went ahead and picked these up at the bins. Um, they have pearl accents and they're just a pair of vintage. Um, long gloves I think they would go out to about here and then I look them up there is a tag inside and it is a vintage brand that people do search for um, well I can't hardly read it right now but I know if if you're interested in these I'll put them in my Poshmark <laughs> closet or on eBay or I may put these also on Etsy but it was so great because these were tied together so they didn't get lost in the bins that was really nice and then i just picked up because i thought these were so cute they're little ralph lauren little girls um uh pants and then this cute little embroidered top indigo is the brand I just thought these would be cute together. I might just throw them in my Poshmark closet as a, this, I just love the fabric of the top. It's really thin, almost like vintage pillowcases used to be made out of that really soft cotton. And then it has some crochet at the bottom that it's just got really pretty um, embroidery there. Then I also found this shirt I don't know if this is even worth anything. It's called Crazy Shirt and it's Pima Cotton. And I found some that I think are from the same brand. I mean, it's kind of hard to look up Crazy Shirt because there's a lot of, you know, the, just you, people use that as a keyword. But just kind of has kind of like a surfing type. It says Maui on it. So, men's shirt. Oh, this. I don't know if this is actually vintage. It was at the bin, so I picked it up. It's like one of those nurses, like in um, the army army nurse <laughs> hats. 
I don't know if that's really what it is. If you know anything about this hat, please let me know. There are no tags inside, so maybe it's just a costume thing, but um, I just picked it up because we were there. And that's actually all I got at the bins. So, oh, I did pick up, did I get this at the bins? No, I got this in a store. Okay, so, yeah, there's, in Sun City, if you live in the Phoenix area or you ever go um, thrifting in the Phoenix area, there's, I found this one little area that had four or five thrift stores all kind of on one road, but they're back from the road. The best one is called Sun City Thrift Shop. It's right next door to a Lutheran thrift store that's a huge thrift store, but this is tiny. The stuff, they had the best stuff there. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff and that was my the very first store I went to, so I really wish that I had been there kind of last. I would have picked up a lot more stuff, so I didn't know I was gonna ship it all home in a box. But I'm going back in December, so. I'm going back to that store. I love, they just, they help, their charity helps teachers. And then across the street, there's also another one, thrift store. I think it's a humane society thrift store, but that's why I found this, these items that I'm about to show you. But I thought this was really cute. I bought this for myself. So little um, bike shirt. It's Jesse and Jane. I've never heard of the brand. So, um, but I just thought it was cute. Uh, this is soft surroundings. All their, like if the tags were a certain color, they were half price. So it made their, it made their stuff really inexpensive. But it's a nice tunic that has buttons, kind of a button detail on the side. There. Oh, and then these pants, I don't know for sure if these really are Gucci pants, but they were half of $8, so they were only $4, so I went ahead and gave it a try. This little thing, the hook and eye thing says Gucci on it, and so does the button, so, but they're kind of a low rise, um, just a dress pant, so they're pretty plain have a little bit of a flare at the bottom, but they're in great condition, so pick these up. Hopefully they're real. I'll have to do a little more research about them. And then I also got this little, I've been finding tons of fossil lately, but I thought this was cute. It's fossil, it's kind of a faux um, alligator print. It's, it's a soft, print, but it's just a cute little tiny crossbody bag. Oh, I put a bunch of my receipts in there. <laughs> so that was for that store. Then this, what is this sweater? Oh yeah, this is an Eileen Fisher. This was at the best thrift store that I went to. This, I mean, some of this stuff. I, I mixed everything up when I boxed it up, but I do remember this. Eileen Fisher, Sun City is more of a retirement community, so I did expect to find um, things that maybe like work clothes that women had donated um, now that they're retired. <laughs> um, so this is just a nice little Eileen Fisher tunic, and who doesn't love Eileen Fisher? So, all that. Oh, this, I've had this, something from this brand before, Adventure Day Twal. <laughs> I know I've sold this brand before, but it's kind of an artsy brand. And this is just a cool sweater. I can't quite tell what the print is. Sometimes if I take a picture of something and then look at the photograph, I can tell what the print is supposed to be. It's like this almost looks like a elephant and I think that's what's throwing me off but cool top I found some art to wear type pieces at that store this one I just bought because I bought some other art to wear pieces so there's no tag in it 
but it's just pretty cool. Kind of a patchwork. It's a hoodie, zip up hoodie, jacket, tie dye, got it all. Um, oh, this is a St. John Evening. So it's an older St. John piece. Oh, sorry. But it's Santana knit and it's a long maxi skirt that kind of has like a Chris, it looks like a wrap skirt. So it has that opening in the front. And okay, so this I bought at a Savers. It was half price, I believe. Yeah, everything was half price. Or maybe it was just the color. Anyway, yes, it was Monday. Everything was half price. It was horrendously busy in there. I, if I'd known it was there, if it, it was half price day, I wouldn't have gone. But anyway, I did find this. So that was a great, that's a good find. Oh, it's missing a little tab right here. So I wonder if that can be fixed. So I do take items to a shoe repair. So anyway, say one of their um, straw bags, and it kind of has like rags run, running through the, the uh, print of it. I didn't notice this little thing, but that's okay. So it's got a cute little bow on the front. It has a nice dark um, inside, but nice and clean. And the bottom is clean. I mean, it just needs to be just cleaned up with leather conditioner and then um, deal with this piece right here. And then it's a it's a nice bag. And these sell for quite a bit, the, the straw ones. I don't buy all Brighton stuff. I, I've really, really cut way back on buying Brighton bags. Um, but yeah, look them, look, but still look them up because sometimes they are, in demand styles still and a sweater that uh, is Eileen Fisher bought a lot of Eileen Fisher this was also four dollars was half off in one of those um, thrift stores so this is just like an open front long semi open weave a sweater. This is the Ibex piece. Oh, oh, it is almost, it's, I think it's almost identical to the one I just listed. And in another video, I was thinking that this was a half zip. Oh, it's not exactly the same, but this is an Ibex. If you ever find Ibex, first check it over because a lot of times it'll have holes um, in it, but it's merino wool. And um, yeah, the other one I have is a little thicker. This one's a size large, but just a zip, zip jacket. And on this one, the symbol is up high on the back there. And what else is in here? Oh, this is a cashmere sweater. It's Eileen Fisher cashmere sweater, size large. So just nice cashmere sweater. I looked this over and have to look it over again. Oh, I, this is just a jacket I bought for myself, but I wrapped up, I found some really cool um, little bags at my new favorite thrift store. <laughs> but this is, so you want to watch to the end of this video because an amazing find is in there, is in here. So this is just a lucky brand. It's like a, it's a, you know, a knit jacket, like a moto style. Anyway, I bought it for myself. And then this is one of the little bags that I found. This one, I'm not sure really anything about it. It's, I don't even know if it was just like a craft project or if it's something special but it has this beautiful kind of ribbon down the front 
it's made out of you know wood and like rattan and then it has this chain and the way it opens up is this section here opens and I have a few things that I bought that I put in here oh and it's also Tony cotton is the brand Palm Beach oh that's upside down Tony cotton I haven't looked that up this is I believe a Brighton belt buckle it was on a belt in a thrift store that I don't think it was the correct belt and it was ugly and and it wasn't leather well yeah so it wasn't the correct belt so I just all their belts were 25 cents so I just took this I bought it and then took this off and gave her back the belt anyway 1997 is the date on that and then I found this cute little belt there's no brand on this I don't think oh Dundee is the brand it's a size 26 but it's just a really nice thick leather so I bought that and then I bought this belt just because it's really cute it's a nine west medium but um, it's animal print so belts where I live I I don't have any thrift stores that sell belts really cheap they're always at least five dollars at least most of them they mark $6.99 or higher it's kind of crazy because they have a million belts if they were price them lower they could get they could go through them a little faster so anyway here's I put a bunch of stuff inside here uh, this is the piece of luggage that I found for $6.99 <laughs> this Brighton bag it's all completely opened up um, but it's a rolling it's like a rolling carry-on I guess um, does it have a it has a strap yes inside here this unzips and then it has a pull out thing to carry it around the airport it's in pretty good shape it definitely needs the leather is very thirsty and so I'll give it a nice conditioning but I went ahead and opened it all up and filled it with items so this was from the little thrift store that I liked the best all their clothes were $1.50 <laughs> so that's why I said I would have bought more but I went there first and I wasn't sure if I was just gonna fill this and check it because I bought this Sunday night um, or if I was gonna need to actually buy a box so anyway uh, this is Ralph Lauren petite it's just the green label but it was part of a set it's nice little I mean pink cargo pants there are these they're crop um, I've been getting so many of these Apple you know Apple spam calls oh my goodness so sorry I should have put my phone on silent but this is the top that goes to that those pants okay and this is I've never found this brand there's a skirt and a top oh this is the top and there's just a long plain skirt but it's Babette and this is like a crinkle I know there are maybe it's like an older lady brand it's not purple it's actually like a dark blue and then this is one of those art to wear pieces and I've never heard of this brand but this is one to keep in mind especially if you like the art to wear Ellen Hoptily I don't know you can look at that see what you think but this is a nice jacket and her stuff is pretty desirable this is actually like the same fabric that you would find on a chair <laughs> I think she uses upholstery fabric to make these pieces but yeah the pocket has some little bit of extra embellishing on it and the collar and then the back is just plain 
And this bag, I thought this was cute. This section where it has the Brighton tag and it actually has like a belt buckle there. This is a really cool um, carry-on bag if you love Brighton. So, oh, and I was gonna list this also on Poshmark, but it weighs over eight pounds. So, I mean, I can still list it on there. I just need to think about how much more I would need because in a box it would be probably close to 10 pounds and it's I think it's $20 extra to mail something through Poshmark and I don't know if that's $20 on top of the $6.79 I need to look into that I haven't actually um, sold anything that's more than five pounds or I did but it was a bundle so I just split it into two anyway this is this bag is it's it's Duluth pack from Duluth Minnesota Duluth pack and these sell really well even though they are not the best quality like this trim it doesn't really feel like leather to me the patch is a really nice leather and then the strap is really nice leather but it's just I think it's one of those like travel crossbody bags um, for men I don't know, I had a Duluth Trading Company one that I sold immediately after I listed it. It needs a little bit of cleaning right there. This I got, I think for 50 cents. I'm not sure what came in here. It's just a dust bag. It's Dooney and Burke, and it's huge. Like, I know they have tote bags, but this is... This is really big. I'm not sure. Does, does Dooney and Burke make luggage? Oh, this was a cute little bag. I had never heard of this brand either. It's this cotton canvas, has leather on the straps, but has this cute parrot, I guess, bird on it. And it has a crossbody strap. But the brand. You can see this and I don't know if it came with the penny in there or somebody just stuck it in there but it's called lucky penny and I looked it up and it's an anthropology brand or it's sold at anthropology so I don't know if this particular bag was sold at anthropology I need to do a little more research on it but I just I thought it was really cute so pick that up in a thrift store I oh this was just a dollar fifty so I bought this. Oh yeah, I did actually find this brand. Now I can't even see what it's called, but this is vintage. It's just a little vintage leather pouch. The zipper works on it because it was open. Um, Air light. Maybe I'll put that up there. Air light. And then on this side it says genuine calf. I'm sure it's not worth much. I just, I have a thing for little leather pouches. <laughs> so I can't seem to not pick them up. Even if they're not gonna be worth a whole lot. Okay, oh, here's the skirt for that Babette set. Just a long crinkle maxi skirt. I thought this was really cute and for $1.50, I went ahead and bought it. It's an older tag. J. Crew size eight silk dress. But isn't this a pretty print? It's just really pretty. So had to pick that up. Purple and brown. It's a nice combination. You don't see a whole lot often. Uh, this also was a dollar fifty. So Eileen Fisher, just a plain silk blouse. Let's see, I'm getting close. Only one, that section's empty, so what's in here? Oh, just a receipt. Okay, so I literally have three more things. So these, well, there's two in here. These are black vintage leather gloves. Same with these, vintage leather gloves. They do have a brand on them. One of the black pairs does not, but these do. They're, I think all three of these were made in France. Beautiful little leather gloves. 
And then my most exciting find was at that same little Sun City thrift shop. And it is a scarf print uh, vintage bag. And it is Emilio Pucci. I did not realize that when I first saw this because it's really, that looked like an F to me till I started doing some research and I found out that the E on the Emilio Pucci stuff looks like an F. It's for, it was sold, I don't know, it says Elizabeth Arden, which also kind of threw me off. But then underneath, right there, it says Emilio Pucci. I don't wanna, wanna pull on it too much, but right there. And then, I don't know if that says Pucci. Anyway, I need to do some more research, see if I can find this exact same scarf print. I found a bunch of bags similar to this, none exactly like it, but I didn't have the bag to look it up. So, very pretty. It's got this metal on the sides and then it's trimmed in leather. And leather here, $5. And then this is all leather on the inside with one little pocket which it may have originally come with a mirror or a little coin purse that's not here so i know a lot of these little vintage bags have that but anyway this is probably the best find from my arizona trip and i really appreciate you watching for a whole half hour thank you for making it to the end i really appreciate it um, if you could like and subscribe to my channel I've got more videos coming, have more stuff I just found yesterday for another video. So I will see you next time. Bye.